Well, it was the story heard around the country. The I-40 bridge shut down after a massive crack was found in one of the beams. Well, now, two and a half months later, the bridge reopened, as we told you at the top of the show. All lanes are open to traffic. And in his point of view tonight, political analyst Otis Sanford says, now is the time to truly consider a third bridge across the mighty Mississippi. For 80 days, the I-40 bridge over the Mississippi River sat closed to traffic both ways. And aside from the inconvenience and delays, the shutdown created real economic hardship here at home and elsewhere. Now, with the eastbound traffic moving again over the bridge and westbound lanes set to reopen this week, I believe it's worth giving major kudos to transportation officials in Tennessee and Arkansas for getting the repairs done as quickly as humanly possible. When the bridge closed May 11th because of a crack discovered in a horizontal beam, there was plenty of grousing from those who became stuck in traffic, sometimes for more than an hour, trying to cross the much older I-55 bridge. The closure made national news and became an example of much needed infrastructure repairs across the country. But state transportation officials and contractors simply got to work doing what was needed to reinforce the beams and make the span safe for vehicles large and small. It was a painstaking job and we can be confident that workers did not rush or cut corners. Once the bridge is fully open, the conversation about a possible third span across the river should not end. Yes, it will be costly. But as the 48-year-old I-40 bridge and 72-year-old I-55 bridge continue to age, the cost of doing nothing will be even greater. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.